I have done a lot of work to this car. Um, I think yesterday's video was the day I put the motor into this. This is the motor out of the Mount Forest car. But since then, we have done so much more. I've got my threaded rod in the front of it. I got a bumper swap put on, just my Mazda 3 bumper with two plates to help hold it on. Nothing on the sides here at all. Nothing. No plates on the sides. I'm usually allowed two plates, but I'm just doing, sorry, two plates per frame rail. But I'm just doing the, two, the one plate per frame rail. Um, we have our water circulation kit. This is out of that Ford Fusion. It seemed to work pretty good for me last time. Um, the only thing that I changed was is I put a bleeder right here. So that this bleeder can let the air out. It is the highest point in the system other than the filler itself. Um, this is the transmission that had the fitting broke off. So we just cut it back closer with a mini grinder and screwed in these different fittings here that I was able to get and ran new uh, transmission cooler lines. Um, we do have the motor grounded out over here. We did cut a huge hole in this, but the header still didn't fit, so I had to bend the header. So if you guys take a look, we now have our first angled header. So excited about this. As for the cage, um, we're just running our generic dash bar. We are running a license plate just to keep the wiring covered. We have our three switches down there. Computer, wiring harness, the wiring still has to be cleaned up. This car is pretty rotted though. Uh, we are running our NG Customs cage with our bolt-in gas tank protector. We are four inches away from all sheet metal, which is uh, a fair distance away, so I think that should be fine. We got our two threaded rods in the trunk. We got our trunk tied shut. Trunk tied to rear bumper. We got our donuts on the back, but this place here says I can run my 12, so look at that tire, nice and square. Now on for the front. I am running my Sundance rims with my Weldon centers. So this will be my first time running these, this rim setup. It is a different kind of setup than what I normally run. And we see how she does. Um, I think it will be fine. The Sundance rims are quite thick. So you can see how thick they actually are. And I got some nice knobby tires on them. Um, where this is going is a hard pack track. So I really don't need tires like this, so if they tell me to take them off, I am going to bring other ones as well. Um, we don't have our doors tied shut yet. That's probably today's task as doors. But we do have the cage in. But she does start up and run good. Computer, fuel pump, starter. this thing would run good it does drive good too I've already tried driving it so the transmission was not that damaged from Mount Forest and that's what I wanted to hear good it starts good it drives I haven't really driven it out of the shop I've just driven it around inside the shop forward and backwards to prove the point the transmission still got a transmission still inside of it uh, it's still having the same issue with uh, that it used to have which is if you put it in drive it's fine but if you put it in reverse it's about a two second delay before it wants to do anything um, there was no real big issues with this. Um, when I went to start it, it didn't really want to start. I think it was a bad connection at the starter. So that's been uh, addressed. Um, uh, struts are a little worn out in the front of this, but I'm not going to bother changing them. They're not super rusty. They're just worn out. It's got a lot of miles on it. Um, did the same thing we always do in the back. Just two dimples right there in the frame rails. Might try to push the spare tire carrier up in this, I'm not sure, but no. But the one cool thing about this, check out those gas pedal and brake pedal covers. Fast and furious right there. I'm going to leave those on. They're probably going to come off inside the derby ring, but whatever. 
Um, my R and R shifter. It actually broke in Mount Forest. Uh, it snapped in half. The bolt that connects the arm to the actual base broke off. So I had to use the torch. I had to heat stuff up. I had to get it all apart. I ended up drilling it out to be a half inch bolt. And I put a half inch bolt in there. I snugged it to the tightness I wanted. And then I actually welded the end of it so there's no way that it could come loose. And it's very well greased. Um, how he had it was a half inch through the handle tapered down to a 3 8 it was a shoulder bolt and I guess that the rust and the water got in there and it ended up snapping the bolt in half and it happened right before I went in the ring so I was not overly pleased about that hopefully my modifications to this thing actually helps out so if you guys buy stuff and you don't like the way it is you own it you don't sign a contract to keep it the way it is you once you own it you can modify it any way you want like my NG Customs cage here. I really like these cages, but I wanted a little bit more. So I added a gas tank protector. I added door bars. Once you own it, you guys can modify it to any way that you want. Unless you sign a contract, and say, contract saying you will not modify it. But not that doesn't happen very often. I'd, I think I have one thing in my possession that I had to sign a contract that I was not allowed to modify it until the warranty was up. So... That's <laughs> most cell phones are like that, I guess, but there's other things too. But so this car here is pretty much built, just tripping over interior pieces, and it will be ready to go. Where it's going to go, I'm not going to tell you guys. You're going to have to uh, watch the channel and watch for it being derbied, that's for sure. But uh, no, this motor here has been, I actually got this from the motor and transmission are from a guy named Adam Halbert. And they're from a car that he ran last year. I think he ran it four times. And then it's been in the mouth, the, uh, my last car, the one I couldn't kill for eight runs. And now it's coming back for run number nine with me and probably run number 15 total. I have no history on this. I have no idea what the kilometers are. All I know is that this motor has done me well. Even though this transmission takes so long to shift, it's still holding in there. I've had how many transmissions crap the bed? Like most of my transmissions won't come out of first. This one here has been a great motor, great transmission, and hopefully putting into this car, it does even better now. We got the Mazda bumper on it. Uh, all we got left to do, I was gonna put a radiator into it, but honestly, I like this system. It's tight, it's in there. Oh, there's another thing. The oil pan has kissed the motor mounts inside of the the Mount Forest car so you can see that there's oil everywhere so every time I run this I have to fill it with oil I've tried putting silicone on it it just leaks right through the silicone so this motor here is gonna be an oil pig I know it is but with the hood down let me just do this I cut such a big hole in the hood so then this way here I can check my water levels I can fill my oil, I can check my oil, I can do everything with this hole in the hood. So that's the reason why I cut this hole this big, and now that the header's bent, it fits in there much nicer. So this thing will be getting derbied very shortly. I just got to put my numbers on it, tie the door shut, and she'll be good to go. So thanks everybody for watching, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.